I miss Team Super New York. So I just went through security. I'm really tired. I can't wait to sleep on this plane. But everyone at this airport, JFK, is so rude. Uh, the, one of the employees literally just took the tray and like accidentally smacked me in the face and said nothing about it. Um, and I know New Yorkers aren't mean because I have many, I've had many meet and greets in New York and all my fans and friends have been wonderful and nice, but it's been, it's been a trip where a few people have been very rude to me. I don't know if I told you this, in Times Square the other day, I very seldom get angry like impulsively. I get angry, but if I get angry impulsively, that means you said something that really, really pissed the F out of me. So. I was taking pictures in front of my, um, there's two separate occasions. One is I was at Times Square, and you know those impersonator people? One of them came up to like my mom and I and our family, and he's like, hey, you want a picture, you want a picture? And I very politely was like, no, it's okay, we're good for now, thanks. And he kept asking, and I was like, no, like we're good, it's fine. And then I guess he got annoyed, so he's like, what, do you guys not like Americans? And you know, just as a joke, because I was like, oh no, we are American. And he looks at me, and he's like, no, you don't look American. And he walked away. And I was like, you racist mother effer. <laughs> I was so pissed off. Then the next day I was posing in front of my billboards, you know my billboards, and some dude walks by and he's like, yo, comb your hair. And he walks away and I'm like, is, oh, am I just in some racist part of town or something? But yeah, it's been a very interesting trip like that. I'm very excited to go to LA. I'm waiting for Humble, he's still in the security line, but can't wait to sleep. We're heading to LA is the moral of the story. All negativity is left aside. It's fine. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Let go. Customers would like to deplace the last opportunity to do so. Flight attendant, secure the cabin for departure. I'm gonna get to sleep for the first time in four days on this plane. <laughs> this afternoon we'll be arriving at 48A. Baggage claim area is area one. If you're continuing on to Fresno, California, that's going out of gate 44F. And San Diego, 44A. Yo, he's about to go rent a car, rent a car, and I'm so just ready to be productive. As soon as I landed, my energy came back, everything's great, everything's wonderful. How's your flight? Are you broken? Huh? Are you broken? Yeah, I'm broken. Are you broken? Well, I took like nine time medicine, so I'm so proud of you. There you have it. I'm with the poet. First of his name. Protector of. Wow, you'd be a horrible Game of Thrones character. Why would I be a horrible Game of Thrones? I'm. I would be first of her name, mother of unicorns, protector of unicorn island, Victor of Flip Cup. Say it again. So I would be Lily Singh, Superwoman, first of her name, mother of unicorns, protector of unicorn island, Victor of Flip Cup. I'd be humble the poet, first of his name. <laughs> Holder of the beardos. No, you could say protector of the beardos. <laughs> beardos don't need no protection. La. Get this! <coughs> I rent a beautiful place. We spent 45 minutes driving to this place. And this chick is like, yeah, you can't, you can't come in because apparently someone robbed this house. No one contacted me, no one said anything. Now we're without a place and they're trying to figure it out. And I'm like, why wouldn't you message me or something? We did. No, you didn't. I'm looking at my messages right now. So now we're without a place. So now we're going to put Lily to the test. See how talented she really is. Hollywood Boulevard. We put a hat on the street. We do a funky dance. You know, raise what we're going to do is go to Chipotle. We both know that. Obviously. <laughs> this is so dumb. We're sitting in a car. We have no place to go. We don't have a home. I'm, on, I'm waiting for Airbnb to call me back so they can book another place for us. But this is just so dumb. The place we booked from is so sketchy. They're like... You can tell they're lying about some crap, I don't know. Mad lying. Mad lying, like, mad I sketchy. I could hear their pants on fire. Yeah, you could hear their pants. But what were they called again? Let's just blast them right now. Pillow. The pillow, pillow homes. Don't ever rent from pillow homes. Whack. They don't seem to care that we're stranded right now. Whack. Adventures, this, this whole trip, the landing process <laughs> and settling in process is very difficult. It's like they don't want, every city that we enter doesn't want us there. So they're just throwing spears yeah. at us. We have to like dodge them all. <laughs> oh God. Still no clue what's going on. But now we're at Best Buy. We're waiting for Airbnb to call us back. Now we're at Best Buy. Um, Humble's gonna buy some headphones. But in other news, you know where we are right now. This parking lot is the parking lot of the Target that Humble and I 
decided to make Latin. This is like a walk down memory lane because we're literally returning stuff for a shoot. Walking here, in this parking lot, we kept saying Latin. We're like, oh, we should make a song. This is the space that created La. So you need to take a moment of silence. La. <laughs> I'm just sitting outside on the curb waiting for Airbnb to call me back. This is just, I'm so frustrated today. Like things happen, it's fine, but it's like such a waste of a day. We plan the flight so we can get here, get to work. It's a waste of a day. Sitting outside, can't do anything, can't go anywhere. I'm very frustrated. This trip has been very frustrating. Um, Airbnb just keeps saying, yeah, we'll call you back. We'll call you back. I'm like, you understand I don't have a place right now. And I'm like outside, <laughs> like in my car, just so you understand. Airbnb has always been really great, but today they're not being whack as F, so. I also have a migraine. Hold on. Okay, so I tweeted about Airbnb, and they contacted me and called me, called me to apologize and give me a bit of a refund. It took me tweeting them, but I will say, they still called me, went out of their way, once my case is closed, called me, and now tweeted me saying, all unicorns deserve all the magic. So Airbnb knows what's up. <laughs> Translates into... You figure it out. <laughs> it means like a homie's name goes type of thing, but no. I, lo oh, no I, I love Airbnb, it's just today that, but I generally love Airbnb and I'm very impressed that they followed up and actually did something, so. Vala Magulis. <laughs> if you know what that means, comment below. We finally have a home. Oh my God. The person we entered from, she's lovely. She's wonderful. I love this place. She's so accommodating. This is our place. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Let me give you a tour. I feel like, how many other creators do you watch that give you this many home tours? I have a different home every week. This is the, okay, so when I rent places, this is so lame, but the number one thing I check for is a table. It's not anything else. I need a good table to do work on because a lot of times you go places and they have like small tables or coffee tables. This table is a big reason I rented the place. This is the kitchen right here. Uh, the balcony has a dope view. It's kind of dark right now, so I'll show you tomorrow. Um, we've got our TV here. Da -da -da. We've got a little mini bar situation right here that's dope. Let me show you my room, which is the master bedroom. And you know what that means? Two rooms means I can actually sleep because I won't hear humble snoring. Got a walk-in closet. This desk, though, work session right here. Oh, I just walked into the... Uh, this is my washroom. And then Humble's room is over there. Um, but I think he might be in the washroom. But yeah, Humble's room's over there. It's dope, right? It's dope. This is our casa for the next seven days. Hey! And yes, there is a pool. Ooh, ooh. So after a hectic day, we're getting massages. We hired two masseuses. They're here. His is over here, mine's gonna be over here. This is how we're treating ourselves after a long day. This is Humble's room, by the way. He's already made it messy. Actually, no, not really. Actually, yeah, a little bit. Yo. I'm so tired after that massage. I'm gonna go to sleep. I did no work today, literally no work, but you know what? It was an effed up day. I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm tired. I'll try to wake up early. New day, new smart. New day, new start. Let's do it, it's fine. I get to sleep in a snore free environment, so I'm gonna make the most of that right now. Uh, if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. What's she saying? Who better have what? Okay, beat the phone. Beat stupid phone plan. My always over phone bill every day. You 